Let's continue. So you must actually understand human capabilities and preferences to design great systems. Is it a good design if 10% of users can't really use it easily? That's the question. If the product you've designed, you, you, you've designed, irrespective of whether it's a hard, a, a hard, um, a hardware, or a flyer or a product your company is bringing if 10 percent of its users can use it easily is it a good design right let's move on red green yellow or red yellow red green color wine list occurs in eight percent of males and 0.4 percent of females now color blind people use other cues to read traffic lights some people when they see red it's green for them they can't differentiate between a red and green now the reason why a traffic light has not been changed is because but they are less than 10 percent finds it difficult and for them they've actually find their way out because if 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 there is a system and the lesser number of people but the least number of people don't get in the majority it will continue to try because you change it and you are going to add more percentage to the people who can't actually use it so you you can see the red yellow green some people don't see it this way so you 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 think you've you've actually designed a, a very simple product take note you can't please everyone you've actually designed a very simple product red yellow green red means go green me uh, red means stop green means go yellow means get ready you know this but they can't differentiate between when there is a red and when there is a green but maybe they will know that when the down light when the down light it's on so you can see most traffic lights we have the red one upper then the, the middle one is always yellow and we have the down one green maybe they will develop a clue that oh okay if the down one is on it means we are to go then we are going some people can also adapt to certain designs now we have when you are in an organization maybe you might be the, the ui or the ui designer in that company how does it flow how does a how does a product comes into 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 existence requirement what do they need the requirement then they come to you the designer you are going to design the product before the coding guys integration they accept as uh, the, the, the testing people then they release it every product you see goes through this most of them goes through this process the requirement they know what they need so you you are on, you are in your in organization you are the ui or the ux design they will come to you look we want to launch a watch design one for us design a watch for us they come to you so you will be the next person to be contacted now you are going to sit down and design it taking the customer into consideration you can't just go uh, because every everyone is using the watch that um whereby the when you place it on your hand the 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 the, the screen comes up for the person to see you are you want your product to be different so you are going to design a watch whereby the screen faces the hand no way it's not going to try it design a simple but unique if you want it to make unique make it unique but make it so simple 
that the user can actually understand it. Don't overdo it. Okay, in, 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 in designing, in, in UI, in UX designing, it's very easy to overdo things. In fact, most designers overdo things. Let me add this more. Let me move this more. By the time you realize, it's boy. Okay, so this will, will actually interactive design. Let's go. So user-centered design, three steps. One, identify who the users are. Who are the users going to use the product? In fact, so let's bring it to the simple terms. Maybe you are you are a designer of your church. Your church says design a flyer. Who are the people going to use the flyers? Are the people going to use the flyers able to read? Or are they educated enough to read what you are putting on the flyer? Who are the users going to use? Or are the flyers, are the flyer you are designing going to, going to be for, uh, let me see, uh, people who, who actually are elite? Is the flyer going to be for people who are color blinded? Like they don't, they can't differentiate between green and red. You have to know your, your, your users. Don't just start designing anything. Maybe you are designing a flyer for 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 your church you know most and you know your your church most people can't differentiate between green and red and you are using green and red on your flyer how is it going to thrive okay let's put that aside you know most people in your church can't read the education level is low then you are putting big big words on the flyer how is it going to thrive know or identify who the users are know who is going to use your products identify them first before you even start identify what they want to accomplish with that your design what does your church want to accomplish with that your flyer or what does the organization want to accomplish with that your product design wait maybe your church the flyer you are designing for your church your church won't just want to tell people uh, repent or be saved just that or want to tell people to come to that church or want to tell people to stop wearing certain things or want to tell people to actually let's say stop putting up certain behaviors you have to identify what that particular product you are designing wants to accomplish. Don't just set and start anything and design anything pleasing yourself. You are not the one going to use it. It is called user-centered design. Make the user the center of your design. Understand it from the user's perspective. Three, constantly assesses one and two. What do I mean by this? Now, what you design, try and evaluate it. Try and actually guess to what a user and give it to the user. The user should actually be able to tell you how he or she feels about it or how he or she understands what you've done. So you design a flyer. Maybe your church is organizing a crusade then you are the designer. You design a flyer, which actually the user, when the user sees, it's actually telling the person, Jesus is coming soon, that's all. Obviously, there is no way the user will attend that to see because all what the flyer is trying to say is, Jesus is coming soon. Nothing is actually portraying or encouraging the user to come to that crusade. Or it's a product you are bringing for your organization. Now, the user gets the product, the user gets confused. How is the user going to use it or going to recommend to his or her friends? Constantly assess it.
now there's something when i'm done i'll send you this um, um material then you note these things down as a designer you should note these things they are very important the roles responsibilities the capabilities ethnographics the age range of your design of your users who are going to use the gender the ethnicity you have to take all this into consideration maybe you are in a society you are you are in a society that actually it's a useful society a youth society now a youth society you are designing something which is meant for old age people there is no way they are going to patronize in it there is no way consider the these in fact steps and factors i'll send you these reading materials then you will actually take note of each of them in your in your designing career you want to design something you want to build a product take this into consideration the skill level knowledgeability the mental and the physical abilities some people maybe you are you live in an area whereby most of people have been sexually harassed now you are designing a product that promotes um, 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 raping or something. Obviously, you are going to fail that your company or your organization. You need to know the mental and the physical abilities, the knowledge, that the experience, the environment, the environment of your users, how your users, the, the, the people you are targeting, how their environment is, is it noisy, quiet, Inside are dead people who are, let's say, we say they are the other way, we say intruders or, or let me say introverts or extroverts. Identify all these. Make sure you know your environment. You consider the user before you even start your design. Else, you will build a bad product or a bad design. Any question before we continue, please? now how can we actually when when designing a product in us in ui products you you mostly design products how can we know the user's view on a product one by talking to users potential not just users potential users so you are bringing a new bicycle on, in town. You are the designer of this new bicycle. Now, you will target these bicycle users and ask them what they see about the use of bicycle and what they will need to be attached to a bicycle. That's a normal bicycle. You will need to put the user's feedback in your design so that it favors your users they know what you are actually or the product you are bringing it up it can be easily understood by everyone not just the highly intelligent people or the highly experienced people but everyone so i'll send you this reading materials how to conduct a study it but it's a very useful reading material in fact the whole week use it and go to read everything friday god willing we are going to start designing so friday we can we can actually take a website then we design it we take this then we design we start our practicals so i'll we'll start with prototypes design prototypes then we will actually um go on everything you do you need to have prototype prototype then wire framing prototype so i'll send you this material you read everything it's a very good material which is going to teach you a lot about what you need to know about design now i would like to show you some
some work that was done so i'll send this material to you please kindly share it in your whatsapp group so that your friends too can get and read it it's very good help you understand um know how to design make a good design it's just 61 or 70 pages and actually we've done about 30 of them so the rest is just some examples you go through then you understand it now let's let me i have some example for you here we can actually go through So Friday, we'll be using wireframe and start our design. We'll be using wireframe. I'll be introducing it to Balsamic. Okay. So I'm coming to show you a question. Question. We are all going to digest. We're going to take you through. Okay, so let me share my screen so that you can. So this is an example of, um, let me show you first. What you are seeing is an example of a real, in fact, a real um, work that was given to a UI design or a UX design in a company. So you, you are there, let's say you are employed in a company, you are a UI or UX design, or you are there and just a, you, you just got a contract. This is your contract. Please pay attention and let's go through. Now your contract says, a company named Brain Care would like you to design and develop a user-friendly digital solution for the support of mental health conditions. That's panic attacks, stage fright, maniac depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, etc. among students. Take note of something here. Now, here they are defining the specific people who are actually going to use your products. As, as a UI or UX design, you jot this down. So these are my target or these are the people going to use my products. I'll go over the question again. A company named Brain Care will like you to design and develop a user-friendly digital solution for the support of mental health conditions among students full stop here you know who are your targets it doesn't say it's people um, roaming about somewhere or people living somewhere this says among students straightforward all right let's continue It says your solution should have the ability to anonymously establish a connection between those seeking help and those able to provide such as clinicians, um, psychologists or member of the general public who may experience a similar condition. The solution can take the form of an anonymous message board or app. This application should have special features that allows a technician to assess contact details of users in emergency scenarios. When a user is actively contemplating suicide, the platform should also include other features such as moderated message board that mental health survivors can use to share or post helpful tips for overcoming mental health conditions. This app what was built for some students build this up I'll, I'll give you the link to this up this this was the question some students did it 
I'll give you a link to, to, to that app. Okay, let's continue. So you see, and here, remember user interface design is an interact iterative process. You will prototype your UI not just once, but multiple times as successfully higher fidelity and more complete prototypes. Now here, there is something called user requirements. What you need to actually help you to implement your design. We are not going um, over all this. I'll quickly send you to the response of, of um, um, this work by some students. So here, these are their responses. They had the user requirements. One, project drive, the, the purpose of the product. Now listen to what they said. This is the users, the, the, some, some designers, the student designers. This product will help reduce and solve mental health problem stress among users by providing an intuitive cutting edge system which will focus on dealing with mental health issues. The next one, the creation of this product will be driven by experienced developers, designers, and centered on responses from the users through our research. Now, they also made sure they understood the question and developed a well product that actually focused on the people. Now, let's quickly go to, no, before that, I have something to show you. Now, they actually, what they did want, and of which I was very glad, they actually approached some users, then got their experience from it, and see what experience they got. We call them personas. So the first persona is three Personas based on our user requirement that represent the key user types that might use our product. Remember the key user types. One, students. So number one, Harriet Buga is a level 400 University of Ghana student. She usually faces challenges with being overreactive about a lot of things. Harriet is more often depressed and gets lonely most times. Our product will help personas like Harriet to solve her depression issue by giving her daily tips and taking our depression test to evaluate herself daily. So, is it the 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 approach Harriet and they got Harriet's issue, what Harriet is facing daily, and they realize Harriet is often troubled depression feeling lonely, overreactive. And in their sol solution, their product, they realize in fact this problem is common among the students. And so in their products, it will help her solve depression by giving her daily tips and evaluation test. So after this, we move to their product. The product is live, they build a product. Persona number two, people of which they are, they are, their product can target. Grandma, old people, they said old people too can use their product, says, Grandma Mary is a 78 year old woman who lives downtown Adenta. Grandma is mostly alone a lot of time. She thinks about being abandoned and life seems boring at her age. Grandma has a lot of experience in life and normally advises people on how to deal with life problems. So here, they actually went to grandma, listened to grandma, in fact, got everything that grandma is going through. Our product, now they came to our product, our product has an anonymous story platform where people share their life problems. Grandma will be happy to give people advice on their problem using our product.
platform, which in turn solves her boredom. This is very great. So this is what they, they did. They interacted with grandma. Now, in their platform, there will be a place whereby grandma can actually tell stories or there, there, there is this place where grandma can actually give advice. People will come there, tell their stories and grandma will give advice. Now here, grandma is able to give advice to solve people's problem at the same time curing her boredomness and being felt alone or lonely at her age. The third persona is workers. Workers too, they said workers too can use their products. Okay, he says, Uncle Mauli is a hard working software engineer who loves his work so much that he gives little attention to his mental health. This is what they realize about Uncle. Uncle, Uncle loves his work to the extent that he doesn't give much attention to his mental work. Quite often, Uncle has been developing anxiety for a lot of things. Sometimes, he wants to visit a psychologist about these issues, but not sure of where to find them. Our, so this is Uncle's issue. Uncle sometimes wants to find psychologists, but is unable to locate one or any. Now, their product will help people like Uncle. People like Uncle Mauli deal with their mental health by receiving daily mental health tests. Our product will give Uncle Mauli a chance to book an appointment with a doctor or psychologist. Uncle can evaluate his anxiety level by taking our daily anxiety inventory test. This was their, in fact, test. Now, the designing part. They started drawing down their prototypes. So prototype number one, prototype number two, prototype number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. Then after that, they actually went on, then started their design. So they used balsamic as wireframe. They started to design how their, their, their system is going to be and look like. Inventory test one, test two, test three results and they are done now let me get the link i want to get the link then share it so that you can visit um you can visit their site So uh, let me see, brain care. Okay, so it's here. Now let me give you the link. Brain. Okay. 
Let me share my screen. So this is the product they develop. Can you see my screen? Okay. So they said, welcome to brain care. And the roots is the deepest pain which empowers you to go into yourself. Now they said, click here to proceed to the mental health dashboard. So I clicked here. This is their mental health. So this is the inventory test they were talking about. I won't take you much of it. I will send you the link so that you yourself will go through of the products they develop. This is the depression inventory test, anxiety, daily mental health tips, story. This is where they tell their stories. Appointment booking, national suicide prevention hotline. I will, let me send you the link so that you go then take your time and visit it to go through and study how they are ui or us how it was now pick the link from your um, um session from your chat session i also send in your slack channel go and study it out i'm also sending you your reading materials go to god willing friday i'll meet you guys again then we start our practice with prototyping prototyping how to develop um how to in fact build prototypes of designs so please kindly go through the material i'm going to send you note down the important things as a designer you need to take into consider before you start designing then friday we will start our design thank you very much for joining today's class kindly share the video materials in your class or that group for me thank you i also shared a link too so in case you didn't get it you get it there